Yeah, yeah. So I am Lisa, and today we are going to be learning how to paint a snowy mountain scene. We're going to be painting some really iconic Colorado mountains. So I'll see if you can guess which ones they are. Let's start with painting the sky. I put a darker blue and then a lighter blue and purple. I'm using acrylic paint. This morning when I was driving here, the sunset was very pink and I noticed that the snowy peaks off in the distance looked, distance looked yellow, so I'm going to try to add some of those colors that I saw. just not fit in there. So normally the shadows on mountains look kind of like a cool bluish purple. So I'm going to mix that color. similar to the color of the sky that I chose to paint.
going to get on the website and see if anyone has any questions. It will refresh. It's loading. This is looking good so far. So where is everyone tuning in from? I will take all of Lisa's questions for you and see if she can answer <laughs> them. Do you have any guesses on what mountain I'm painting, Raquel? Um, let me zoom out, see if anyone else has guesses. I think you're doing, I have to take a bit closer look at it. Is it Pikes Peak? Nope. Nope, okay. They are 14ers though. Okay. Oh, oh, this is Grey's and Tories. Nope. Nope. Oh. But, but it does look a little bit more like Grey's and Tories than what I'm intending it to. <laughs> I'm going to keep guessing. I'll give you a hint. There's going to be, maybe, there might be a reflection. There's a lake involved. This is um, Democrat? Nope. 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 Oh, duh. I know what it is. Maroon Bells. I see it now. <laughs> <laughs> Brian is asking if you're going to put in any happy little trees. We're going to put in quite a few happy little trees. I haven't really decided where yet, or how much snow is going to be on them. We had a viewer, Carol, from San Antonio tuned in. So want to say hi to Carol? Hi, Carol. How warm is it in San Antonio today? No. That is nicer than. It's pretty chilly here. Mm-hmm. So to make the lake, you just start with some dark water. Yeah, I'm going to be putting dark water and I'm going to put a snow bank that goes up on the right side. So I'm not 100% sure if I want to make the lake frozen or not, so I think a reflection might be nice. Carol says she's li used to live in Denver for 38 years oh, wow. and it's going to be 81 degrees there today. <gasps> So the, different than this snowy painting. So the lake would not be frozen. The lake would not be frozen if this were San Antonio. So if people want to paint kind of a snowy look, what should they go for? Like what kind of colors should they use and when should they add in whites? Well, I like to, if I'm using acrylic paint, I like to paint dark to light. So that's why I'm putting all of my blues in right now. And then I'll go in and put the whites on top of it. But mountains tend to be darker at the top than they are at the bottom, so they kind of slowly fade to a lighter color. See, I would think it'd be the opposite for some reason. Yeah, I would too, but that tends to not be the case. Um, and snow, the shadows and snow are normally blue, and the highlights and snow are normally yellow. So a lot of people think snow is just white, but the fact is, there's a lot of colors. So can you say that one more time? Blue is for the Blue snow. Blue is for the shadows in the snow, and yellow is for the highlights in the snow. So something that might just seem like you should only paint it white actually might have a lot of colors in it if you want to add depth. 
And for anyone who's watching and is worried that this paint's going on the floor, we have a drop cloth. You just can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's always good to paint with a drop cloth. Mm -hmm. And gloves. So I've been learning. Oh, yes. I might need to pull up a picture of the maroon bells. Because I know that there's a line somewhere that goes down like that, I think. And you've actually climbed the room bells. I have, yes. A little but, scary? <laughs> mm -hmm. It is a little scary. Where was it? On your mountain? Um, so this is South Maroon and this is North Maroon. And there's a class tri 5 traverse that you can go across the ridge. And you did the traverse? I did, yes. You don't have to. You can climb them separately, though. Would you recommend separately or traverse? <laughs> I mean, if you do them separately, you have to walk twice. Get them done in one go. Mm-hmm. I think they're only something like 750 feet apart or something like that. But it does take a long time to traverse. Yep. Door. More internet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I have like the background laid out and I might go in and start adding some details and I'll let the mountain dry. I'll pull the picture of the maroon bells. So right now you would mix some blue into that paint to make it look like frozen ice and some snow. Yeah, exactly. Um, what color? I want a dark blue. I don't know if I have dark blue, but I do have dark blue. Oh, I guess that's purple, but that'll work too. I'm going to add a shadow kind of behind the snowbank. I'll zoom in some more on that. My favorite Colorado mountain is Mount Snuffles. I think it's because you like the name. I think it might be because <laughs> I like the name. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm thinking it's <of> sunrise. <laughs> I didn't really have a plan about took my artistic license and did it the way I felt like it should be. <laughs> you ran with it. Ran with it. outlining the shape of where I want different features to be so I'm gonna have I know where to put my details in okay. I'm gonna add some shadows so these are your guidelines that you yes need. it's kind of like a doodle to help me figure out what I actually want to do <laughs> And if you decide not to use it, you can always cover it up with paint. Exactly. Exactly. I can't remember who was asking, but if you wanted happy little trees, I think they're coming in. They are coming in. Coming These in hot. These are the stems. <laughs> <laughs> the 
zoom in on that for people. Now I'm going to start by adding some black. Carol's asking why you're painting on plywood instead of a regular canvas. I like the way that wood feels when I paint on it because it is harder and there isn't as much give when you press your paintbrush down. And I don't like the ridges in canvas. So this is a more natural feel? It is. This is probably a little cheaper too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, absolutely. Now normally people paint on primed canvas or primed wood, but I did not prime it because I wanted it to dry faster for the sake of this. So that's why the background is not white. But I still kind of like how it turns out though. You can kind of see through it a little mm -hmm. bit. Okay. Lisa's Which, currently inspecting the maroon bells. <laughs> I am trying to learn what. Oh, someone wants some fall colors in there. Well, there's fall ice. Colors. But there's not any fall colors right now. There the isn't. Bells. This would be a dreamscape. <laughs> so much as a yes. real true to life. <laughs> I might add some in though. That would be color pretty with the touch of it snows orange. in the fall I yeah, love like him <laughs> it does snow in the fall I know we have black at least I thought I had black maybe we don't that's okay we can make do white this might be black Paints are so painted on that it's hard to tell what colors. Yeah, if you if you want to show the camera like. really quick, <laughs> her paints always kind of end up extra painty, so you. Can I think that's a sign of a good artist. <laughs> Adding in some tree branches, I decided that these trees probably should be a little larger. And then I'm going to go draw a line down, and then you, it looks like you're passing. You kind of dab. 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 Dot. <laughs> so you're dabbing in those happy little trees. Exactly. I'll zoom in for you got a studio on Santa Fe. Nope. My studio is my out the outdoors. I like to paint outside a lot. I'll be right back. Let's see what this looks like at a distance. I think this tree. Okay. So I think maybe I 
that paintbrush is dried up. I did not paint any paint. Fun to have a gold painting. Step back, figure out what I need. So, the highlighted areas. Morning, seeing the morning light. It's very yellow highlights in the sky.
where the snow connects to the ocean, I think. Coming together a little more. There should not be a reflection to hear about them. And then we'll go through and read all the comments.
No shadows and snow. Like I said before, are usually. There should be a thin line where the lake meets the skip around. That allows a coat time. Way. Hmm. rule about paintings called I don't judge whether I like them or not until and it's really hard to No, a little bit brighter. I can get new paint on. Is that a chance to peek at the comments? Uh huh. Jeff says he really likes the you know, snow. Oh, yay. Oh, you've added in some gold, I see. I did. with bright light, so I'm using my hands. Yellow, and that's because the sun reflects yellow onto snow? Uh-huh. Correct. Blue. So, I'm put some snow on top of the trees. This is really turning out nice. Thank you. Lighten it up as you get to the top? Yep, exactly. Oh, I see the little fall color in there. <laughs> Lisa, while I'm here and I can kind of facilitate them. It's 
what Lisa tells me to do all the time is take a step back, look at the painting, and then it helps you see things in perspective. Because when you're so close, you can't really. The maroon bells aren't white enough. And how did you do the reflection of the mountains in the water? I started from the bottom and then I went up towards it. I outlined the If you get it, it's easier to fix a wrong outline than it is to fix a wrong painting. I feel like it's missing a color. Is there any colors that's missing? Mm. What do you guys think? Are there any colors? It has pinks and orange. Does it need dark green? Orange? Maybe red. Red and orange. at the colors you have. I don't want to suggest a color. Maybe I need to add some more shadows in. I think it looks a little boring right here, so I'm going to put... And then I think I'm pretty close to being done. I like it. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going with black. Really define it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going off a particular picture. It can be kind of confusing. have to make it look like what you feel like it should look like instead of... I see it now. I apologize for yelling. ...reflection or anything, so... Also, too blue right there, which you should also fix. Oh, yeah, because your eye kind of gets stuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't think it's caught up right there. So, when you're doing a painting, make sure you don't have a space that is just kind of empty mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, it's not as believable. That's black. Do not want to put black on there. I'm just going to paint. Lighter colors over it. Might have to color that up with like purple or something. Purple sounds like a Little pink, maybe? No. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Definitely. Add some pink in there. So I'm thinking ski tracks would have been really fun. Oh. In this, like, right here. I'm all about the ski tracks. All about ski tracks. I'm all about putting pink into the water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every color. That's the cool thing about paintings, is. You can add the things that you wish were really there. Like fall leaves in a winter scene? Like fall leaves in a winter scene in a pink sky. I zoomed in for everyone to see again what you're doing to the lake right now. Oh, cool. And I think you can see here how it's kind of breaking up that big dark blue spot that was there. And for the ski tracks, did you mix 
white with black to make um, this grayish color? I did. It's not what I intended to do. I just happened to do what was on my paintbrush. So I'm going to have to go in and change the color of that. But I think we can work with it. I'm going to have the shadow be on this side. Okay. And how do you know where to put the shadows? Well, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Like, in a lot of paintings, you'll have a distinct place that the sun is coming from. And it's normally best to choose a direction, but I don't really have very many distinct shadows in this painting, so. I imagine it's that. It's not too important. The sun is coming up from the. Where the maroon bells are facing. If you pick a direction, just stick with it if you don't have a sun. <laughs> yes. This is an ambiguous time of day. Yeah. It could be evening, it could be morning. I was actually going for the morning glow, but. I want to. Try to layer up the paint and make snow look nice and fluffy. Maybe it's fresh. Fresh fluffy snow? Fresh fluffy snow. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Step back. Mm-hmm. Yep, I think that... I like yeah, some little frost on there. Yeah. I think that is a wrap. The maroon bells in winter. We'll be posting this on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I will zoom out so you can say bye to Lisa. All right, wave Thank to you.